Black. I'm Catherine Soucy's artist in residence at our firm. I think one of my fondest memories has been that she was really embedded in our firm and she had her place here to work. Because machines inevitably fail. When that happens, they have to scrap those materials. So that's what I inevitably end up buying from these mills. And so from there, I assess them and then I dye them, and then I do my whole transformative process. <laughs> the amount of trial error that I've gone through in the last while, and that's why, you know, it's been a lot of like, okay, it's one thing, you know, when I know this material process, but I'm using it in a very different way. It's uh, a, a, an immense amount of uh, trial and error, even within, and you have to eliminate trial and error because of the fact that, uh, uh, there's a lot of bigger stakes involved when it comes to dealing with architecture versus clothing. I was remembering our initial meeting with Catherine where she came in and she divulged that when she wanted to make a drawing, she typically used her sewing machine to do so. And at that moment we knew we were dealing with somebody who um, was kind of committed to her own process. It's great to have Catherine here with us in the studio over the last few months because we got to see her work through the different phases of her work. And uh, what was really good to see is that she wasn't afraid to try new things out and then fail at it and then regroup and try again. And I think in any creative process, failure is, is an inherent part of the process. Architecture has informed a lot of how textile and clothing has been formed in the past and, how, and, and we're at a point where it can give back to to how architecture works. But, but at the same time, um, being here has been fascinating because um, not only do I have an opportunity to have a space to think and explore and, and be immersed in an environment where people are physically working. It's not a vacant space. And I, I see process and I get process because I'm, I'm immersed in process all the time with what I do and so I, there was a lot of self-reflexivity in and around that, like my own process versus the processes going, that's going on in here with several different projects. I'm on the other end of what it's like to be like in an architectural space where physical restoration and architectural work's being done on the other end. So there's been this really interesting, like I've got the beautiful creative end of things and then this the, the underbelly, the dirty side of like, uh, petroleum byproducts, but the thing is, my view is these materials exist. The sad thing is that they exist, and I don't want to allow them to exist, but if, we're, if they're going to exist, they need to exist for as long as they possibly can. And so, um, it's my life, I never thought would be ruled, <laughs> ruled by this material that's designed to be a second skin. Um, it's a unique material. They, they only produce this particular structure for, um, for leggings, for women's pantyhose. It's not produced for anything else. So that's, that's what I do.